All right. All right. Well, welcome those who are with us live and those who will be listening to the playback. I'm Karen Pina, God's coach from Gifts Ordained by Direction and Gifts Ordained by Direction Coach University. Our mission is to make leaders an accurate reflection of Christ and to prepare you for royal career and ministry transitions. So I am here today with Shay Bynes. Hi, Shay. How are you? Really great. Thank you. Good, good, good. I'm going to tell you a little bit about Shay and a little bit about myself. I am the founder of Gifts Ordained by Direction, as I mentioned, and God's Coach University. We're a training and coaching firm. I'm the author of three books. The first is, Is It the Job, The Boss, You, or Are You an Entrepreneur? (laughs) <laughs> finding <laughs> finding your career stressors and the success that God intends. Long title, I know. What is it? It is a career transition guidebook that I'll be teaching from live on October 28th and 29th in Shelton, Connecticut at the Hyatt House, which is what we're here to talk about today. This is a info seminar for those who are thinking about attending and have questions, not sure who may have been out to the website and they're asking, well, what can you tell me beyond what's written there? (laughs) So this is that, this is that. And so, right. And so I'm the author of a book that I'll be teaching from. That's one book. The second book is called The Making. And it is um, Be Still and Let Me Make You Into a Glorious Vessel is the subtitle. It is a career development book for leaders. And the last book is Leadership Fitness, Experiencing Fullness in Your Temple. And it is a book that will guide you into your own wholeness as it relates to fitness, not just physical fitness, but spiritual fitness, relational fitness, financial fitness, and so much more. And these three books are really my life's work so far. They are the essence of what every great leader needs. You need to be physically fit. You need to be developed in your character. And you need to know how to successfully transition because that's what your whole leadership life will be made of. <laughs> so those are the right, Jay? I mean, that's it in a nutshell. Yep. So those are the three books. You can learn more about the work that I do and the people that we influence and impact over at godscoach.com. That's godscoach.com. I have a little link down here. We are behind a firewall, so I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that, but I did put it down here and godscoachyou.org. All right. So that's a little bit about me. I am here with Shay, who I've mentioned several times. I'm going to tell you a little bit about Shay. I'm going to introduce you to her. And then I'm going to kind of dive into um, what she'll be speaking on and when the schedule for the event. All right. And then I'm going to share a little bit about some of the topics I'll be teaching on and a little bit more about the format of the event, what you can expect. All right. So here's Shay. Drum roll. (laughs) Shay Bynes is a passionate storyteller, best-selling author, mentor, and teacher on Christ-centered and spirit-led business. She is the founder and chief fire igniter. And every time I say that, I have to shrug my shoulders. (laughs) Because it's like fire shut up in my bones. (laughs) She is the chief fire igniter of kingdom-driven entrepreneur, whose mission is to activate a community of entrepreneurs that demonstrate the power, the presence, the passion, and the purity of God in the marketplace. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, I love it Shay, too. yes, I mean, that is just it. Shay, Jenna. Hi, Jenna. Jenna was saying hi to Shay. Hi. And uh, Shay. Oh, it's Jean. Yeah. Is it Jean? Okay. Sorry, Jean. I didn't mean to mess up your name, Jean. Shay is going to be with us October the 28th and 29th. She will be kicking us off right at 9 o'clock a.m. on Friday, October the 28th, 2016. She's going to be talking about Kingdom Driven Entrepreneur Essentials and Grace 
over grind, how grace can take your business where grinding can't. So Shay, go ahead and tell everyone a little bit about your two topics that you'll be teaching on at the gathering so they'll know what to expect from you. Sure. So um, the first one you mentioned, which was about you know essentials of kingdom driven entrepreneurship. I think this one's important because a lot of times, you know, people will say, you know, I'm a Christian and I'm in business. I'm a Christian entrepreneur. Right. And there's a lot of differences between saying I'm a follower in Christ who's in business and actually being a business owner who says I'm driven. I am motivated. I'm propelled forward by the kingdom in my business. Right. There's two. It's very, very different. Right. So even amongst the community of of Christ loving entrepreneurs, it looks different, which is why it's important to talk about the essentials, because one of the things I've realized in talking to a lot of Christian entrepreneurs is that there's it. Whenever we talk about kingdom driven entrepreneurship, it either immediately resonates in your heart or it doesn't. Right. Some people who are in business. It's like when we talk about the mission, they're like, yes, I know that I'm called to the marketplace. I understand that. Um, as soon as I said yes to Christ, I'm a full time minister. I'm, you know, I'm a priest. I'm a king. I'm a priest. Right. I'm in the marketplace and I have an assignment here in the marketplace. Right. I may not be, you know, a church leader. I might not ever be uh, behind a pulpit or whatever, but I am here in the marketplace. God has called me here and I am driven and I'm motivated by seeing the advancement of the kingdom of God and what I do and my gifts and my talents and my spiritual gifts. You know, my natural gifts and all of those things and bring um, value to people in the marketplace. So it's a completely different way, really, honestly, of doing business. And when you look at what that looks like, what does it look like when you say, actually, you know what? My business is yielded to God. Like, he's my partner. The Holy Spirit is my chief operating officer. Like, you know, I don't do anything without him. Right. That whole idea is still a very novel concept to a lot of people in business. And so because it's such an unusual way of doing business, it's important for us to teach the essentials behind it so that you um, so that if this is the thing that resonates your heart, you understand how to flow, how to operate, because it looks so different from the way most people do business. So that's, that's pretty much, you know, why I'm going to be talking about a lot. And it's not like there's there's a the first book that we wrote was called uh, The Kingdom Driven Entrepreneur Doing Business God's Way. And part of the message is going to be based off of some of the principles shared in that book. Um, and I'm going to expand on that as well. I'm going to take some of my favorites and really kind of dig deep into some of those as well. So that's the plan for that. And then the second one I have to say is really one of my favorite topics to talk about. And that is um, grace over grind, right? Because it's almost like a badge of honor, Karen. Like, you know, entrepreneurs are like, I'm on my grind, you know, I'm, I'm a hustle till I die, you know. I'm, I'll sleep when I'm dead. You know, all these like phrases that we come up with that are like a badge of honor as a business person, but yet not. <laughs> if you're a kingdom driven entrepreneur, that's not the badge you want to wear. That's not the thing. That's not your rallying call. Right. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. the whole concept around grace over ground is to talk about what it looks like to work from rest, to work by grace in your business, what does that look like in a practical way? And then what does that look like? What are the results? What are the supernatural results that take place because you operate in business that way? That's when you experience his best. That's when you experience the exceeding abundantly above all you could ask, you could think, you could plan, you could imagine, right? That's when you experience that. And so